Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a galaxy scrunch. Using a washable marker, I mark out my pattern. I draw the diagonal line, that's where my galaxy scrunch is going to be, and then the circle is the parameter. I'm using the purple marker to mark out the dark space. Once you have the shirt all scrunched up, it's sort of hard to tell where things are, so I'm just going to be following the color pattern. Once you have it all scrunched up the way you like it, it's time to secure it. I'm going to use rubber bands, but if you would prefer to use kite string, you could do that too. Do you guys remember those jelly uh, bracelets when in the early 80s? So I was getting my rubber bands ready and a set was tied in a knot and I thought, oh, isn't that cute? My shirt gave me a friendship bracelet. I had to switch to larger rubber bands. I call it tacoing up. So when you put the tension of the rubber band on the shirt, it wants to start folding up, rolling up. You don't want that to happen. So just adjust your rubber bands so that the shirt can stay laying flat. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to add the dye. And do you guys see the yellow line, the parameter that I drew on? That's going to help me stay within my lines. Sorry guys, the power berry is old dye and so it's clogging up the tip of the bottle and it's really annoying and I recommend you probably just go pour it out and mix yourself new dye but I'm frugal and I hate wasting dye. I'm pulling out these long gooey chunks that are clogging the tip of the bottle and they're gross. You see that uh, dark ring around the bottom of the bottle? 
So I dye out on a sun porch and it's been hot. So I think the dye started to dry up inside the bottle. Yeah, you don't want that. That's not good. Flip it over and repeat the same thing on the back side. Instead of using Power Berry, I'm going to use Nightshade and it's a really pretty color. I ended up squirting a little bit of the Raven Black on my fingers and just sort of rubbing it in. Next time I wish I would do more Raven Black, but you'll see that in a minute. It's been 24 hours and now it's time for the rinse out. Start by using cold water to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the shirt and gradually increase the water up to hot. Rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here I take it to the washing machine and I do a hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Synthropol which is a textile detergent and I do a third hot water cycle using Millsoft to bring softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. Then I put it in the dryer and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our shirt after it's been washed and dried. And I like this shirt. The reason I chose the pinks and the oranges for the galaxy was because I was playing off the print that's already on this shirt. I got this shirt at Fred Meyers. It was on sale for $4. So I thought, why not? Let's do a galaxy on it. Now you could take fabric paint at this point and add little stars and constellations on there if you'd like. I find that the white paint is itchy and scratchy. Do you guys know of a type of white paint, fabric paint, that is nice and soft to the touch? And also, on the back here, remember I said I wish that I would have used a little more Raven Black? I think had I done that in the center area there, it would give more depth to the galaxy. You know, it would draw your eye into the, the far off universe. But overall, I'm happy with this shirt. What do you guys think? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, leave a thumbs up, click the bell for future uploads, and remember, have fun tie-dyeing.